There was quiet anticipation pulsing through Hannah's heart. Mitch held his breath and knocked on her door. Then love knew it was called love. And when I lifted my eyes to your name, suddenly your heart showed me my way. So go forward into the sunset, holding tight to the one you love. For the journey will be eternal, simply because the one you love is by your side. To my husband Mitch, from the moment I met you, I knew that someone incredibly special had walked into my life. Now, five years later, I have the privilege of calling you my husband. I'm so thankful for you and I love you so much. Hannah and Mitch know that love is not losing freedom, it is sharing it with another. It is the enticement to trust, to risk, to try and to go on. To my beautiful wife, Hannah, I can't wait to start this new chapter of our lives together. Words cannot describe how happy you make me feel and how excited I am for what the future holds for us. Thank you for everything that you do. Today, you marry your best friend. So Mitchell, do you choose Hannah as your wife, promising to always be true and honest with her and that you will laugh at all the stupid things together promising to love her unconditionally for all the years of your life together. I do. Hannah, you have told me that Mitch is your soulmate, your best friend, and always knows when you need balancing with lavender. He is handsome, strong, motivated and passionate. All of the adventures that you have enjoyed together have been special because Mitch has been at your side. So Hannah, do you choose Mitchell as your husband, promising to put lavender oil on his pillow when he has a big day, to make him smile every day and to love him unconditionally for all the years of your life together? I do. Good guy. I put lavender oil on today. I, Mitchell, take you, Hannah, to be my wife, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish your friendship and love um, you today, tomorrow and forever. I ask everyone here present to witness that I, Mitchell Stephen Holmes, take you, Hannah Louise Power, to be my lawful wedded wife. I will trust you and honour you. Um, I will laugh with you and cry with you. I love you faithfully through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy. What may come, I will always be there, as I have given you my hand to hold, so I give you my life to keep, so help me God. I, Hannah, take you, Mitchell, to be my husband, my partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow and forever. I ask everyone here present to witness that I, Hannah Louise Powell, take you, Mitchell Stephen Holmes, to be my lawful wedded husband. I will trust you and honour you, will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy. What may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand cold, I give you my life to keep, so help me God. Six little words that represent the fulfillment of every hope, every desire, every prayer, and every long lost dream I've ever dreamt. Six little words that represent the fulfillment of every search, every step, every heartbeat, every road I ever travelled and that led to this moment and to you. I have Hannah's ring. Hannah's first. Cheeky. You pick up Hannah's ring, place it halfway down her finger on the left hand and looking at Hannah. Hannah with this ring I thee wed. Hannah, with this ring, I thee wed. Mitchell, with this ring, I thee wed. You have kissed a thousand times, maybe more, but today the feeling is new. 
No longer simply partners and best friends, today your kiss is a promise. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Be with someone who will take care of you, not materialistically, but take care of your soul, your well-being, your heart and everything that's you. Mum and Dad, without your influence, support and love, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. I'm so thankful for the life you've given me and I can't wait to share that with my own family one day. I will forever be a pal at heart and I love you both very much. To mum and dad, thanks for everything that you've done throughout my life. Uh, you have guided me in the right direction and for that, I love you very much. <laughs> Mitchell, and I am mean, quite pleased with this effort on Mitchell's behalf, he, he arranged a beautiful day at Hannah's school, no, not Hannah's not at school, she's a teacher, and um, he organised for her, him to attend in a break, and all the teachers and everyone else were organised in this station too, and they all knew about it, Mitch brought in all these flowers, and all the kids knew about it, but Hannah didn't. Hannah come in, uh, Mitch, no, Hannah was there, sorry. Mitch came in, proposed to her, and did a wonderful act like that. It was very brave because he looked quite feminine. But, <laughs> but uh, um, I, I do feel that it was a great effort, and uh, actually, you didn't look feminine at all. <laughs> that was Hannah, I mean. But no, so keep that up. Unfortunately, it's set a pretty high standard. My husband was set early in the marriage. <laughs> um, oh, apparently, I've got to welcome, welcome you into the family. You all right? Welcome to the family. <laughs> no, um, Hannah, I, I'll leave you with your break now. Hannah, I'd like Mum to talk about you. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. You're welcome. You put me on the spot. On the spot. First of all, I would like to congratulate you, Hannah and Mitch, on such a beautiful wedding. It truly is amazing, and I'm so very, very proud to be your mother and to welcome my new son-in-law into the family. I love you, Mitch. To Jeanette and Steve, thank you very much for giving us part of your son to us today.
Mitchell, my son, I love you as much, so much. On your wedding day, I have overcome with many happy emotions, love, gratitude, excitement and joy. You could not have found a better bride to spend the rest of your life with. Hannah, thank you so much for making Mitchell so happy. I am more grateful to you than words could ever possibly say. Love you both and welcome with arms outreached to our family. Just to add on to that, um, the young fella, I'm not going to go too hard on him. I owe him a few, but another day I come home from work and I was pulled up at the survey to fuel up and I seen this Sheila walking across the road and she's got this little baby in her arms and he's naked and a little bike under her arm and I said, where are you going with that kid? That's my son. She said, I just found him riding up the road at his bike. He said he was going to look for dad. I said, that's me, I'll take him. <laughs> How he never got abducted has got me bugger trilly. But yeah, son, I'm proud of you. I love you. I love you from the first day I met you. And I love you still. And I wish you all the best in, your, in your, the life together with you and Hannah. Just remember, don't follow in your dad's footsteps because they won't go real far. But take your own path, mate, and you can go as far as you like. Thank you. Congratulations to you both. Um, I hope wish you all the best in your next chapter in life. You sing well through each other. I'm sure he's going a long way. <laughs> Hannah, your devotion to Mitch is outstanding, especially through the early days of your relationship with the whole distance of art situation. Seeing how you make Mitchell happy through the last few years, yeah, it's a lot happier than what he was before. <laughs> Hannah, I am beyond honoured to return the favour and stand beside you on your wedding day. And I'm extremely grateful for the loving sister, friend and auntie that you are. Growing up, you really did believe in true love and fairy tale endings. And I'm so delighted to witness yours unfolding tonight. Enduring the challenge of your long distance relationship and subsequently moving to Gunnedah really has proven to be the best decision of all. Mitch, tonight I officially welcome you into our family with open arms. And while I can't promise that you won't get called names like Mitchell or Mitchie Poo, <laughs> I can promise that there'll never be a dull moment or a shortage of laughs, definitely when dad's around. I'm excited to not only gain a brother-in-law in you, but a kindred spirit who can also have a yarn under wet cement. Be with me a moment. Oh, are they my notes? Oh, no, no, no. They're the MC's notes that he, <laughs> he stored in a bottle. Oh, why did it get so wet? Good evening, everybody. For those who don't know you. No, me. No, me. No, you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Lex, and this is... Jane. Yeah. I actually, this is probably feels so foreign to me. Uh, I felt really proud today with um, Hannah and Mitch out the front there with the ceremony part that they did, and uh, it was from the heart and it was really deep. And uh, Hannah didn't get me to cry, but she's trying to, she's, she's targeting me to make me cry, but I won't. Mr. and Mrs. Holmes. Firstly, we'd like to thank you, each and every one of you for making the effort to join us on our special day. In particular, those people who, um, who have traveled long distances, it is greatly appreciated that we are so glad that you could make it. Uh, we would also like to thank the terrific team here involved um, in making the day so amazing. To our bridal party, words cannot express how lucky we are to have such amazing friends and family in our lives. You've all made sure that Mitch and I have felt very special leading up to the big day and we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I'd like everyone to raise their glass for my beautiful wife, Mrs Holmes, or as the preppies will now call her, Mrs House. <laughs> 